filming it, but I don't, I don't generally uh, end up following out my filming videos for towing because um, honestly, it, I I can see it getting a little bit boring. It's just a whole bunch of driving, but uh, I don't know. I'll try and get one up today. Well, whenever I get my computer fixed, but uh, I'll try and get one filmed here today. But uh, I got my co-pilots with me. I got Bandit. And I got both. They're my two older dogs. Uh, Bandit is eight or nine, and Bolts I think three or four. But uh, they're the two. They're the calmer dogs out of the four of them. So I like to take them with me because Bandit has been towing with me for so long. Whenever I look over in the mirror and say, "Hey, watch out, buddy," he lays out of the way, and Bolt stays in the back pretty much all the time. So. He's so used to the front seat being bandit seat, and he doesn't even bother. But uh, so I'm getting, uh, I'm gonna get like 50 bucks to move this. It's it's actually a favor for a friend. It's uh, it's I don't know maybe a five mile move. So it's really not that big of a deal. It's just a little New Holland tractor with a brush hog. But uh, I'll uh, I'll try and film as much as I can and actually get a video up. Okay, so <clears throat> that's not an ideal spot to pull in, but uh, it's what's gonna have to happen because this lock's pretty tight. I dropped it off in a different place, so uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get out, Bolt. See, I got my buddies with me. Nope, Bolt, you guys gotta stay in here. Bolt, see, he wants to get out every time. He wants to get out every time. All right, let me get these guys situated. Okay, so, yeah, as you can see, not ideal but <clears throat> all right so uh get my i gotta wait for uh joe's parents to get here to we, they have the key for that but uh so what we'll do is get that ready and then we'll set my ramps down here comes joe's parents <clears throat> These ramps are about as heavy as I've ever wanted to see. Okay, and then we'll get the chains and stuff ready. Something you always want to do is chalk your wheels because it'll lift the back of the truck and the truck will take off. So we'll do that and then I'm going to set the camera up and you can watch me load.
everybody. So this tractor I'm moving is not, not all that heavy. It's uh, If it weighs 7,000 pounds, I'd be surprised. It's just a, a New Holland uh, Boomer 45 with a loader and a brush hog. I'm not even sure if the uh, tires are ballasted on this or not. It's just for uh, just for a local person here. So I'm actually moving it for Jonas's dad as a favor. He was doing some brush hog work for one of their friends. So um, she owns a lot of property down here in town. But uh, anyway, so some things I want to talk about to uh, maybe get it out there for guys that are towing or uh, learning how to tow. Or even just guys that already know how to tow. Sometimes, just conversation's sake, you know. But uh, some things you want to keep an eye on are always look in your mirrors. Uh, you'll be able to, you, you should be able to see your trailer in your mirrors. That'll allow you to see if your load's moving. It'll allow you to keep a good eye on your tie downs and stuff. Not that that's a replacement for getting out and actually checking them, but. That's uh, something to keep in mind. Something else that your mirrors are very important for is before you're merging on a highway or making a turn, you need to be able to see if you're going to hit something with the trailer. Um, and not just your trailer, your truck. If you're driving something big enough that you have blind spots, you got to be able to work your mirrors and see where they're at. But uh, you'll see me actually make a wrong turn here. That's something else that's pretty common. It happens... Uh, now, I'm not running my GPS here. I know where I'm going, but I forgot where I was at, if that makes any sense. Uh, I'm not real familiar with these roads. I know where they all lead, but uh, I guess I just had a brain fart that day. I don't, I don't know what happened, but um, what I'm going to do here is just turn around. That's not really a recommended practice, but nobody was on that road, so I did it. Um, but anyway, some other things you want to make sure of when you're towing is you got to look as far ahead as your eyes will let you. You got to look for taillights up ahead and stop lights and stop signs and road signs. You got to pay attention to all that stuff. Uh, you know, you see a stop sign up ahead, you know you got to stop. If you see uh, taillights up ahead, you know uh, you might have to stop for that. Um, you see a red light up ahead, if the light's green for a while and you can see it, you know you've got only a limited number of time until it turns to red. So you can kind of start preparing yourself to be able to stop for the light. Um, now, in my case, this truck's a five-speed with an exhaust brake. So I'll let some of the audio play out in regular speed so you'll be able to hear it. But you'll hear me downshift and hit the exhaust brake and kind of let the truck do the work instead of relying on just the brakes. That's something else you have to kind of do is allow the truck to slow you down. If you rely on your brakes all the time, you'll overheat them, and then you get what's called brake fade. Like I said, a lot of you guys probably already know this, but 